The Washington guessing game is over. The president has named his new and third chief of staff in just under two years, and he will succeed John Kelly, who will leave at the end of the year. And this comes as the process was more public and more messy than the White House had wanted, raising questions about whether the coveted job had lost its luster, despite all of the problems coming in for the successor who will inherit the messes. The president had set off the countdown clock himself. I'll be announcing that over the next day or two. Pressure mounted and nearly a week passed before he ended the suspense, tweeting, Mick Mulvaney will be named acting White House chief of staff. But the choice did not clear up the controversy. Late Friday, a defensive tweet from President Trump, writing, for the record, there were many people who wanted to be White House chief of staff. Mick M will do a great job. But at least two top contenders had already backed away. Former New Jersey Governor Chris Christie and top Pence aide Nick Ayers publicly dropped out of consideration, ramping up speculation about a new front runner. I know the answer, I'm not telling you. The president didn't have to look far. Mulvaney is currently budget director. It's been a tremendous success. And Mick Mulvaney has done a fantastic job in taking that over. A former South Carolina congressman, was, sources say uh, Mulvaney a requested the temporary sounding title of acting chief of staff. Mulvaney enters an ongoing storm, like former Trump lawyer Michael Cohen, who claims the president knowingly violated the law with hush money payments to two women. He directed me to make the payments. He directed me to become involved in these matters. He was very concerned about how this would affect the election. The White House responded by blaming the media for airing Cohen's allegations that the president denies. He's a self-admitted liar. You guys all know that. And for him to say, I'm going to start, I'm going to stop lying now, starting now, is somewhat silly. 